Hi, I'm Steve Kohut, Training Officer with Sterling Heights Fire Department, and I'm here today with uh, Jerry Reese with Clinton River Canoe and Kayak Rentals, and we're going to talk about kayaking on the Clinton River and uh, some of the things that we should look out for. Uh, Jerry, I'll be honest with you, uh, you know, I've lived in this area for years and I wasn't even aware that we had canoeing and kayaking. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the operation here? Up until last year, this section of the river wasn't open. There was a $4.2 million grant that opened this river up and allowed for kayaking through this section. It's a great family-friendly section with a lot slower current and less turns in the upper sections that we run from Yates down to the Heritage Park location. Okay. Um, another question, if uh, we had touched on people buying their own equipment, uh, what uh, what are the recommendations, like what safety equipment do you think they would need? Do you, I, we're looking at the river back here and it doesn't look very threatening. Do they need life jackets? Life jackets are a must. 16 and under, you have to have the life jacket on according to Michigan law and you have to have it with you no matter what and a throw cushion does not count. Okay, um, any other recommendations as far as uh, you know, clothing that they might want to wear, um, you know, weather precautions? Always, always dress for the day. The weather is always dependent. The water temperature is always going to be a little bit colder. This is a, a springs fed in a lot of areas upriver from here. The Stony Creek Lake, the Lake Orion Lakes, the Lakeville Lakes. They all feed this and it stays cold all summer long. It will not go above 70 degrees. So cotton is never a good idea. Um, it doesn't dry. You can get cold and stay cold in the cotton. A hat, sunglasses, sunscreen, um, flip-flops float down the river constantly. We're always picking those up. They, as soon as you lift your foot up, the river current will pull them right off your foot and they're gone. Hi, this is uh, Life Jacket 101. When you're putting your life jacket on, it is meant to fit. You want to zip the jacket. To have these loops out here that can get caught by branches and pull you out of a boat at any time, your boat's going to continue moving and you're going to be hanging on a stick. You want to have these tightened. All three of them. One out is enough to get you pulled out of your boat. You want them secured on both sides. If they have a top shoulder jacket, you want to make sure that the shoulders are fit properly. When the jacket's properly on a person and they're in the water, this is all we have to grab onto you, or your hair, or your head. If the jacket comes off and we don't end up with you in it, it does not do us much good. Please put your life jackets on properly. Also, we have Kelly Bergen. He is the EMS coordinator for the City of Sterling Heights Fire Department. And uh, Kelly, we already talked to Jerry a little bit about uh, some of the issues with kayaking here. Uh, as far as uh, from a medical standpoint, are there any issues you think for people who are considering uh, using a kayak or paddling down the Clinton River as far as uh, health issues or precautions? If you do have a uh, prior medical history, like a cardiac history of seizures, it's always good to have the medicine with you in the dry bag that uh, Jerry had mentioned. Um, or even as simple as if you're allergic to bees, make sure you have your epinephrine pen with you. Just these simple things can uh, make a difference. Outstanding. Um, uh, Jerry had mentioned the need for, uh, for life jackets, personal flotation devices. Uh, the other thing, obviously this is popular with families. Um, children, we would assume that they have uh, life jackets on. Uh, one of the questions that was brought up uh, earlier is, would it be possible to use a car seat? to put a car seat in the uh, canoe to uh, hold the child. It's funny that you asked that, Steve, because uh, mm. I have heard of two separate stories that some individuals had a car seat in their canoe, and I can understand maybe they think car seat mm. is safe and translate to canoe, but please, please do not put a car seat in a canoe because you would just be asking for trouble. And if you can picture it, if you uh, strap your child in a car seat, that car seat is strapped to the canoe, and if an unfortunate event happens where that canoe tips, the child would be tied into that canoe. So we do not use a car seat in a canoe. Do not, please. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, an another question is, you know, here in Sterling Heights with our fire department, um, what type of training are you aware of that uh, the fire department's doing to prepare for any possible emergencies here on the river? Well, Steve, currently we are in the process of training all of our members. There's about 90 of us that are going to be trained in water or swift water rescue um, in, the pre in the pretense of having the influx of people come through our city. 
So all the firefighters will be trained to do a water rescue. And I'll just go back to remind you guys that when you are canoeing and enjoying the, the river that we have, keep a mental note on what number you're by. There's little markers, and again, they're not mile markers, they're like identifying markers. So when you have your cell phone in your dry bag and you have a medical emergency or anything goes wrong, call 911 and then you can say, I'm by mar or marker 15, and then we know exactly where to find you guys. All right, well, that's great information. Thank you for your time, Kelly. Thank you, Steve. So for more information on anything that we've spoke about here today, uh, there's several resources available. You can go online to New Friends of Clinton River Kayak, uh, their Facebook. Uh, you can also go to uh, the United States Power Squadrons. They have a uh, available information on kayaking and canoe safety, or the City of Sterling Heights website, and you can get information on the uh, fire department and contact us directly.